I mean, we, we always care about, you know, whether you talk about chemistry or personality, whatever you, however you say it, but this is going to be a little different. I mean, you know, we, we need to sit back and, and, and respect what we're going through. And by that, I mean, asking 40 guys to sit in the clubhouse just so I can feel good about talking to them isn't fair. So if we have to give, you know, in some areas, like I've actually written out some things and, and I've gotten some help with, uh, with Augie in Spanish, and we might just sit it on their chair, you know, just some thoughts, because we're going to have to be willing to give in some areas, you know, again, our, our priority has to be the safety and the health of our guys. And we certainly want to be the best baseball team we can be, but that's going to cert- that's going to help if everybody's healthy. I mean, we've never gone through anything like this. Um, I do know that there's a few ways you can look at it. You know, we can either look at it that we're coming into August and we're tied for first place <laughs> with four other teams, or you can shrug your shoulders and roll your eyes and be like, yeah, you know, there's nobody in the stands and whatever. I can't, I can't imagine our guys acting like the second, you know, we're going to have to come up with some of our own enthusiasm. And, and like I said, fall back on the things that we believe in as a team more now than ever, because there aren't going to be people in the stands. But again, you know, we, we talk all the time about valuing what it takes to, to win more than the other teams. That is never going to be more evident than now. And the teams that handle it the best probably are going to give themselves the best chance to win. Well, first of all, we're going to play three exhibition games at the end. Um, I've never been a big fan of inter squad games. Well, we're going to have to become fans of inter squad games because we're going to need to play. So we'll, that first week, we'll have a lot of like sim type games. We'll work into the inter squad type games, and then we'll get into the finally you know, when we play another team, but we're just going to try to get our guys ready the best way we know how. And if we have to make changes, we will. It's just, you know, again, we're, there's so much to balance right now. It's not just baseball. It's the safety of the players. It's, you know, the cleanliness of the clubhouse. It's giving the guys time to clean it in between the groups. There's, there's a lot of things to think about right now. Amen. Is there is there any advantage for the Indians that they have Tito Francona or everybody's working from a new playbook? What is there an advantage? Uh, just by what you heard there, I would think there is an advantage with Tito. But let me say this right out of the gate, uh, Les. How good does Terry Francona look physically? I mean, I know we're only catching him from the you know the chest up, but he looks good. And when you compare that to several years ago, when it looked like Something was really wrong with him, and it turned out it was. Uh, you know, hats off to him. I, I read somewhere where he stopped chewing tobacco uh, for, I don't know, eight, nine months or something. So, uh, number first and foremost, it's great to hear and see what appears to be a healthy Terry Francona. And to your point about, uh, or your question about managerial skills, managerial difference, I, I don't know that a, a good manager makes a whole lot of difference, but a great manager can win you a few games that you weren't supposed to win. And I put Terry Francona in the great manager category. So I think, and plus, you know, and that's just, that's not even talking about his motivational skills. So I think Terry Francona is worth a couple of wins, which in a 60 game season uh, could be all the difference in the world. Well, the man,